hello in this video we are going to see what is remote sensing so let me welcome you all so the question is what is remote sensing it's not a tough thing to understand the name itself says what it is okay you can actually understand what is remote sensing just by looking at the name so it is not tough not difficult to understand you have to just divide those two words remote and sensing then there it is you can easily understand what is remote sensing so if you are having any trouble with understanding what is remote sensing the answer is pretty simple okay it is sensing information from outside or from a different position sorry distant position with no contact that is if you want to get information about any object you need not touch it there is no need for any physical contact you can stay away from that object suppose you can stay in india and get the information about an object that is located in france or germany without looking at it without touching at it that is you are staying at a remote position and you are sensing information so you are staying remote and are sensing information that is nothing but remote sensing that is you are using remote sensing okay the process is called remote sensing getting information by staying in a remote position so actually you and me are using this remote sensing everywhere without knowing it okay so you are using and i am also using this remote sensing everywhere in our everyday life unknowingly so let us see some simple examples where we are using remote sensing so so this is nothing okay actually do you know how your eyes are working do you know how your television television is working it's all remote sensing so just try to understand how these two things are working if you are able to understand those two things you can actually appreciate the use of remote sensing in your everyday life these two are very good example good examples so let's go into the details so first see how the eye works so first of all there should be sufficient light if you want to see the objects because in night times you will face difficulty because there won't be any light so there should be some light either it might be sunlight or it might be torch so either it is natural light or artificial light whatever it is there should be some sufficient amount of light if you want to see the objects then whatever light that falls on the objects it travels towards your eyes right so if there is some sunlight and if i am putting some plant or some duster in that sunlight okay that sunlight is going to fall on that particular plant or object whatever it is then whatever that sunlight that is falling on to that object it is going to travel towards your eyes so your eyes are going to sense that sunlight then it is going to send that information to your brain whatever the thing that is perceived by the eye that will be sent in the form of a signal to your brain and your brain analyzes okay whether i have seen that object before is it a new thing is it dangerous is it soft is it hard like that this kind of information will be analyzed by your brain and with that analyzation with that analysis your brain will send a signal to you okay this is plant okay this is a tree like that so this way you are going to identify next next thing is this way you can easily understand what the object you are seeing so this way your eye works so here you are not packing your eye and are going to keep it on the plant to understand this is a plant you are staying away from the plant and you are st still able to appreciate that it is a plant so you are staying at a remote position and you are identifying that it is a plant so actually you are using remote sensing here you are staying in a remote position and you are identifying that it is a plant so here it is remote sensing that makes your eye keep working 
so another example is operating television so most of us have are having televisions in our homes that are remote controlled so whenever you want to change a program you just press a button and the channel is going to change so how this is happening the first thing that occurs is when you are pressing a button actually let me tell you your remote should be charged that in the sense it should have good batteries if this if you want to work with your remote so the first thing is there should be remotes in your battery and the tv should be switched on then you are going to press a button and according to the number that is pressed the system the sensors in the remote are going to understand you have pressed 7 you have pressed 3 like that and according to those numbers it is going to send a signal towards the tv so this signal will be received by the sensors in the television and according to the signal received by the sensors the channel is going to change this way your television works so you are going to press a button then the sensors will understand your wish that is the sensors in the remote are going to understand your wish and according to that a signal will be sent towards the tv from this remote and this signal will be received further by the sensors that are present in the television then these sensors will send the information to the systems that are present in the tv to change the channel so your channel will be changed so you are not going to touch the tv to change the channel you are just pressing a button so you are controlling the tv staying in a remote position so the, and the tv is sensing the information without touching that remote so this is actually a remote sensing process so this is how remote sensing works without any physical contact the system is going to work we are going to control the system and we are going to acquire the information without any physical contact this is what we call it as remote sensing so next thing is definition of remote sensing actually this is a basic definition of remote sensing there are actually different branches of remote sensing different types of remote sensing we are going to discuss those things in next videos upcoming videos so for this video let's see what is the basic definition of simple remote sensing so here it is given like remote sensing is the acquisition of information about an object or phenomenon with the help of so sensors located either ground bound or space bound and without making any physical contact with the object thus in contrast to the site observation so if you see this definition it gives it tells that the sensors will be located either ground bound or space bound ground bound in the sense the sensors position will be on the ground that is the remote control of tv it is present on the ground so there are different types of sensors we will discuss more about these things in later next videos so space bound in the sense the satellites these send the information about the earth but the sensors are located far in the sky so these are called as space bone so sensors can be either ground bone or space bone and these sensors receive information and gives information without making any physical contact with the objects so if you see the ground observations we are going to touch them physically if you want to know about soil you are going to touch that soil and tell that okay it is soft it is hard it is granular like that so whereas with the remote sensing you are not going to touch you are not going to make any physical contact but you are going to give the information so this is it so this is how satellite remote sensing works that is space bound remote sensing in that sense sensors are located in the space so just see this is the satellite located in the space that is sky so first thing that is required is some energy source so sun is the energy here the energy that is falling onto the ground that is sunlight will be reflected back to the satellite so in between there is some processes that occur the sun light that is that travels through the atmosphere in order to fall on the objects and this line light will be slightly absorbed by the objects that is grass forest water like that so different objects absorb sunlight in a different ways so there will be difference in the intensity of the light received by the satellite from these objects if the tree is reflecting the energy it will reflect in a different manner 
if the water is reflecting the energy it will reflect in a different manner if the grass is reflecting it will reflect the energy in a different manner because the these bodies will not absorb this energy in a uniform way so the amount of energy received by the sensors in the satellite from these objects will vary depending upon what is this object so these sensors will receive this energy and according to that a signal will be prepared in this satellite and it will be sent to the ground that's all to the antennas or the data centers and that data will be analyzed further to understand what is the information about this forest that's it this is how satellite remote sensing works we will discuss more about this satellite remote sensing in the up next videos so till now we have discussed these things we have just seen what is remote sensing we have understood how remote sensing works we have seen some real life examples like working of tv working of i then we have also seen what is the definition of remote sensing and in the next video we are going to see remote sensing of earth so how remote sensing of earth is functioning and what are the different components of remote sensing and what are the requirements of a ideal remote sensing system so this is what we are going to see in our next video thank you for watching